Hey everyone, it's Dave here and today we'll be talking about the quest release of The Wizard's Dark Times. Now this is something familiar for me because I've played the first game like a long time ago when I created my channel basically for VR. And for like one of the first experiences for me it was actually fun but now thinking about it it was rough. <laughs> like times very fastly change with VR here, especially with quests. You don't have to play the first game to enjoy this one. So don't worry, everyone can throw around fireballs. So The Wizard's Dark Times is a spellcasting action adventure game where you travel through the world of Meliora discovering various spells, monsters and environments that essentially brings you to your goal, which is <laughs> very unclear actually. <laughs> it's basically that you are a mage just going through stage to stage discovering new spells, new mechanics and fighting your way throughout the levels. It's essentially that you cast spells with your own hands by doing certain gestures, whether you wanna summon an ice ball or fireball to throw or just arcane missiles, you have to make a certain movement of your own hand to actually do it. Not just proceed the button, you actually have to make it work. Now at the moment of recording this video, I actually finished the game completely, it's not yet on the channel but like it's on the editing stage and whoever played the first one, I would basically compare it that it's a sequel to it if you're talking about gameplay mechanics and spells but not really story wise. When I was playing it, the story and what was going on actually to me was very confusing and forgettable like maybe after half an hour of playing it I actually forgot what I was doing and just I was focusing mostly on fighting with monsters and having fun with spells but that's it and I feel like you should just treat it as such because for some reason actually if the first game had better storyline to me than this which is weird if we're talking about sequels in general the gameplay really stepped up from the first game you have some repeated spells of course but those spells now interact with each other meaning for example if you freeze something you can shatter it with other spells so there's actually some depth into the mechanics and that's what the focus for me is I already played the game I already know what's happening some things were quite well key on the PC VR version so I'm interested if they even fixed it on the quest and I'm gonna be looking mostly for that and as well graphics but the problem with that is that the PC version was really high quality in terms of just particles and textures so I'm expecting a big downgrade because I don't believe it can handle certain <laughs> effects as well as comparing to the first game you actually travel through the world like it's kinda open world like instanced so you don't feel like actually trapped you feel like you travel through the world of Meliora because in the first game you were just choosing stages and being locked on that environment from the start to finish but here you cannot uh, travel and discover different environments different monsters like magic land i'm gonna be mostly looking for technical aspects of it and nothing more so let's see what's up all right seems like the safe points did not transfer unfortunately i have to do a new game here oh wait a minute new game plus and hardcore mode don't think i've seen it actually when i did my campaign back in the pc vr version huh okay i assume it would be just like the same game but with all unlocked spells already if you did one playthrough okay i'll skip the tutorial because i already know the game i see a new spark has it come to serve us or will it flicker out wait your turn with my wizard wait subtitles no matter no matter in umbra all shall go dark as you can hear, this isn't the best time for Meliora. I say it's high time somebody turn the tide, don't you think? You and I are going to kill a witch. Mm -hmm. So that's how it started. I really, really forgot the campaign. <laughs> hey, dude. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> okay, let me see the graphics. So, this is potato it's not that bad because i already finished this game and it's like compared to the first game it's like the space and just like the environment is huge so it's like the textures are like blocky kind of blurry but i feel like this would be like quest one graphics not quest two i feel like quest two can handle more yeah i know firewall good you still remember your magics that's all that matters. I think I have just two spells for now. I have shield, which is less flashy from the PC version. Oh, okay, but it's like, it's spinning. The sound effects are like in the distance. They're not like high quality as well, which is interesting. Fireballs, the hands are less detailed. I mean, it's not bad, it could be worse. <laughs> 
and this game like excels with the gameplay it's not like a tragedy or something uh, let me go to the like a mini boss I remember and then I'll see for real because it's just like Ice picks. Do I have a bow? Okay. The tracking is good. Okay. Oh my god, stop with the vignette. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like the options here, compared to the PC version, are a little bit different. I don't see the vignette, I don't see like few options that should be like on this side, especially for the quiver and bow, which is kind of different, I don't know why. Climbing feels way better actually. <laughs> Maybe they worked on this version. It's not that wonky. Your shield should be enough to tear this wall down. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I know. Your rapping sound effect was still there. <laughs> I remember. Uh okay. Here we go. First push. Ah, arcane pulse, perfect for more sturdy obstacles. Can't see shit. A bit dark in here, don't you think? Light a fire to see. What the hell happened here? Uh, okay. My, something still works here. I think there was a chest here as well. I mean, the first chest of the game. Yeah. And I did not get like how to activate it, but basically you just seek those emblems that you have on the chest and cast spells according to it. So, what was the first collectible? Oh, <laughs> sure. So those flowers are just to color your hands. That's it. There's nothing more. <laughs> Such mysteries. I wonder what will happen if that... Definitely did something. Did try the other two. <laughs> Thank you, Release. Sometimes the textures, I feel like they are disappearing. Is it not like buffering properly or something? Can't tell. Well, this is completely dark. <laughs> the chandelier overhead looks heavy. It might break what your pulse cannot. Uh, break, break, break. Try burning the roots on the ceiling. Which ones? Ah, oh, those are roots. Okay. Because the textures are kind of indistinguishable, it's hard to see. Twilight Peak. Elvin Seat of Power. Now taken over by Umbra. Holy <laughs> hell. It will take us right there. Come on. Yeah, it is kind of potato, not gonna lie. I'm getting slight flashbacks to the first game when I first played. And shutter. Oh, such a waste. <laughs> Drones of Umbra like this one have overrun all of Primewald. I already know the mechanics of this game. We are safe. And I think I remember a few jump scares as well, so... We'll be fine. Ah! 
Sometimes just summoning the bow is like wonky. Not wonky, but like just hard. I would not recommend climbing through the burning ivy. Hold your hands wide apart. Hold that the triggers and bring your hands together. I mean, not really. You have to do like kind of this motion, but like. True to its name, it rather dislikes. Cold. Or maybe okay, or maybe I was summoning a bow. <laughs> Wrong whole game. Whatever. <laughs> I hear you. Don't worry. Shroomlings aren't usually this aggressive. I would say otherwise. They're just annoying. <laughs> oh, such a waste. Drones of Umbra like this one have overrun all of Prime. I'm stuck. <laughs> Ah, uh, let me go down. Where are they? Excellent. Are you warmed up yet? Umbra stands no chance. I think the sound effects are fixed as well, because in the PC VR version sometimes you would not know from what direction monsters would come. Here we'll have a jump scare. Or not. Oh shit! <laughs> I scared myself, I mean. <laughs> Am I surprised? Not really. <clears throat> okay, I think they fixed some things. Hey, open it. <laughs> okay, we'll do the mini boss here. But yeah. Oh, interesting <laughs> visual effect. Is he coming? <laughs> it should be like ice bolts. Damn it. No, not ice by ice. Easy now that I know the game. Okay, this is the second spell. Ice one. So this and this. So it's like ice sword, but you can't throw it. You steal Open it. Magic of my I think someone is shivering in the face Come here. of your power. <laughs> yep. So we'll stop here. I think there was an arena mode as well. I don't know. Oh, what the hell happens here? <laughs> I don't know if in this version. So first profile and uh, no. Okay, so it's just campaign. It seems like it. Well, I don't know how to feel about it. Honestly, this seems really potato and not for really quest two. Maybe it's gonna get like an update or something because I feel like quest two can handle a little bit more in terms of particles. Sometimes it is the case that new games release will just 
just base quest graphics and that's it. I don't know why it happens or maybe it's just like the development kind of cycle but I think it could be a little bit better because it is a little bit pixelated for my taste. Gameplay wise it's the same but I think they polished few bugs that I had problems with in the other version so I'm fine with this. If they did not touch really the gameplay then I'm Gucci so fun. I'm gonna be uploading the playthrough just like with other games so stay tuned for that and have fun. <laughs>